So you're using this clone, this clone production system, and you're interested in trialing some of our seeds. By the way, let me know if anybody wants to get some samples to trial our seeds, and we'll get them out to you in a way that makes sense for your operation. Here's an example of how that works. You know, I've got a guy who has a big mixed light greenhouse in the Southwest. And he's bringing in 600 clones per week. So he says, how, how should I, how should, into flower, how should I uh, use your seed? And I say, oh, it's, it's quite simple. Just take these, how, how many auto flowers do you want to try? Okay, let's do 50. So take these 50 auto flower seeds and I'll, you know, I'll give him a hundred to make sure he gets 50. Put two per pot and Sell them on the exact same day you bring your clones into flower and just leave them in that flower room and then just see what happens. Watch, watch what happens there. Or they're gonna or they're gonna finish at the same time as, as your clones are gonna finish. Now autoflowers will do better actually with more light than, than 12 hours, which is what all these flower rooms are at. So another way to do it is to just grow the autoflowers in your existing veg space. So where you're keeping lights at 18 or 20 hours, just put the auto flowers in there. They'll finish, they'll flower in there. There's no risk of pollen contamination. People are worried about males, even though, you know, we don't have any one in 2000 plants, might be a phenotypic male, it's easy to spot, it's easy to remove, but that's a concern. So, okay, put it in your veg, uh, in your veg space where there's no flower, there's no risk of pollen contamination. If somehow you miss 25 plants, you miss one because you're not looking close at your crop. But anyway, I digress. The, they'll flower in, in eight, 18 hours of light. And the guys who are doing, you know, who are, are doing large scale mixed light greenhouse, they're auto flyers, they have light, they're bumping it up to 18 hours. That's how they get the highest yields. So that's, uh, those are two ways to just integrate feed into an existing system on a trial basis with little or no risk to the bottom line.